What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. Today is episode 8, and I have some awesome stuff to do today. I have the day planned out perfectly, so I guess we should just jump right in. Now first things first, I want to thank you guys, you guys have been leaving some incredible support on this series. I never imagined it would go this well, and I can't thank you guys enough. I really, really appreciate it. So yeah. Let's go ahead and jump right into some of the stuff uh, that I added. So, this is the house so far. Now, of course, um, it's not too much different. I just added all the walls, like I said I was going to do, um, between this episode and the last one. So now, we've got a, a bitter, you know, we got a better, I don't know why I said bitter there, a better feeling of a house, right? So, here we could have some sort of kitchen area, um, some, I don't know, crafting tables, you know, furnaces and whatnot. Over here, we could have the center with the cute little puppy. And then over here, we could have a bedroom. You see, guys, it, it, it has a nice homey feeling now. Also, back here, we still have this sunroof area, backyard area to play with. Maybe we could leave the dog back here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But for now, those are all of the changes I did to that. And what... What's going on with the trees? There we go. Now that's much better. A nice rest and some better looking leaves. You gotta love it. Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is farming, right? I mean, we have that farm over there and it's pretty cool, but I want to stock my lovely little home with a lot of books. And in order to do that, I'm going to need to make a sugarcane farm. So I may as well just start some other farms. But first, I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and fill up this farm because it's not actually full yet so we'll walk through this farm chop down all the wheats and eventually we'll probably get enough seeds this we may actually have enough seeds now I don't, I don't know we'll figure this out but I do have a hoe with me and of course we have a ton of seeds now so I think I may be actually I may be able to plant all of the seeds and fill up this lovely little farm which is Pretty exciting, actually. Really exciting. And we did get to finish it with a few plants to spare. Look at that. Okay, perfect. So this is the farm. The lovely wheat farm. Now there is a... Uh, there's a thing that I'd like to add. I'd like to add a fence. Should we... Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and chop down some of these trees up here. Grab ourselves some wood so then we can make a fence to protect the crops. Because I do not want the crops to be trampled. That... That's no fun. That's never any fun. So let's go ahead and break a few of these trees down, and then I can use their wood to make some sticks, and uh, and we can make some fences. So let's... Oh, the axe broke. Oh, n that was my iron axe. Come on, man. You got to be tougher than that, man. Come on. What's my iron axe doing? Okay, so it looks as if that's all we got from that tree, so we'll wait for the saplings to fall, but for now, we can head back over to the crafting table, make ourselves another axe, and then we can also uh, make some fences as well. So let's grab a, f a few pieces of iron, no, not four, three pieces of iron, and we can come back over here, and then we can also grab... Uh, oh, we're going to need some sticks as well, well, I may as well make the planks... Make some sticks. There we go. And now what we gotta do is make a few more sticks. And a few more planks. Let's just make all of the wood into planks. Why not? And what do we need? We need a few more uh, pieces of sticks. And then a few more pieces of fences. There we go. Okay, so we have 33 fences now. That ought to be enough to get a good amount of this done. Um, and I don't know where I want to put the other farms yet. I think I just want to scatter them around these hills. I think it would be pretty cool. Can I set up a nice little boat? What? <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, let's get out the axe now. Uh, there you go. The first hit with the brand new axe. There we go. Okay. So, we can place these fences along the outside of the farm to give it a nice protected um, protected area so no monsters can come in here and step on my lovely wheat. They never eat it either. They just walk by and trample all over it. They don't even stop to take a bite. No, they just, they just trample on it. It's disrespectful, man. So we got to set up this fence in order to stop that from happening. So, oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. All right, there we go. And then, of course, we can always put the torches up on the fence. Oh, and I didn't have enough. Okay, well, let's go make some more. That was a lot. Jeez. 33 fences was not enough. Who would have thought? Okay, so let's go ahead and make a few more. 
Uh, I think I'm going to need uh, more sticks and no, just more everything. Yeah, not enough wood at all. So we'll have to come back to uh, come back to chopping some trees down in order to get some more wood. But for now, I think six may be enough to finish it off. There we go. And now all I need is a uh, now all I need is a gate to put right here, and then we can figure out exactly how we want to deal with the water situation. I'm not too sure how I want to deal with it. But I think we can always put a path in the middle. I don't know what block I want to use, though. But for now, what we can do is we can go ahead and use these torches to put on the corners of the block so that no matter what time of day it is, these guys are always getting a good amount of light. Because everyone knows light is the most important thing to plant. So let's go ahead and put these uh, extra torches right here just to make it look pretty nice. And let's count how many blocks wide is this? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it's not going to have a direct center because it's an even amount of blocks. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just leave it. That looks fine to me. That looks fine to me. So this is what the farm is going to look like. And it's pretty cool looking. Pretty cool looking. So we'll jump up to see. Are there any saplings up there? Did we get any new saplings? No? No saplings fell yet, huh? Huh. Well, can I get any? I'd really like to replant some of these trees. No. No saplings, huh? Well, I'll try again next time. Okay, so for this next farm, I guess we could just put it right here, right? This is a good spot for a farm. So let's go ahead and place down... Oh, we got to get rid of this tree. The, I guess these trees first. And we could use... I really, I really want to get a sugarcane farm done. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab... Let's grab some, some of these trees... You know, g gather their wood, and then we can grab ourselves the sugar cane out of the inventory. Oh, wait a second. We're not actually going to be able to do this as early as I thought because it's not too big of a deal, but we don't actually have the sand, and I really, really want to use sand for the sugar cane farm. So we'll have to figure it out. But for now, what I think I want to do is have the sugar cane farm needs to be... Okay, so I'll have one row of water, then sand, water, sand, wood. So I'm going to need, it's going to be a wide farm. This one's going to be very wide. So that is, oh, geez, come on. That is how the sugarcane farm is going to look. It's going to be pretty wide, and uh, it's going to be good, though. It's going to be good, though. So I guess what we can do is we can probably sneak by just grabbing some of this sand and replacing it with dirt. Why not? Why not? You know, this sand can't get too mad. I'll still leave some on the coastline. But for now, what we can do is we can easily just take all this. Take some of this. This is free sand right here. We'll take all of this, and then we'll replace it all with dirt. Um, and we can use this sand for the sugarcane farm, because everyone knows sugarcane loves to grow on some nice sand straight from the ocean. Or from the pond, in my case. <laughs> so we'll use this lovely, luscious uh, sand... To, to do that. Okay, so let's jump up. Oh, let's jump up here. So what the sand is going to do is it's going to go like this. And then we're going to have another row of sand like this. And then we'll probably have another row of sand like this as well. Uh, no, that's not where, that's not where the sand's going to go. The water's going to go there. The sand will actually go right here. So the water will go in between the sand. And that, I think, is, that's a good, that's a good, uh, that's a good looking farm. So, um, and of course there can be water in the middle as well, but I'll probably just leave that for some sort of pathway. Maybe like cobblestone or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out, uh, when the time comes. But for now, we need to get some more, uh, we need to get some more tools, including the shovel, which I think I just did break. Another iron tool broke today. So we'll go ahead and grab some more sticks, it looks like we're gonna need. Yeah, we'll need some more sticks. And then we can make this shovel, and then we can continue on uh, with the journey. With the journey so far. So I'll go finish off the uh, the rest of the sand, and I should probably grab some dirt to fill that hole up. So we'll grab 20 dirt, and then another 64 dirt. So we have almost three stacks of dirt now. Oh, it's, it's nighttime as well. Perfect timing. We can go ahead and go straight to bed. Awesome. So uh, see you guys in the morning. Well, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a fast night's sleep. Okay, so we're back in action. Okay, perfect. Um, and I guess we can place this last piece of oak wood just to place it. Just to place it. We could place it right there. Okay, so it looks like we have a lot of sand left to go ahead and break down. I hope we can fill this up with dirt. I don't even know if we're going to have enough dirt to do this, guys. But we can try. And it's good to keep the sand. I'll use the sand for later. Uh, for any glass I need or anything like that. We can always use the sand later. No worries at all. So this will all be reused. But let's go ahead and jump down here. Grab the rest of the sand. Come on. Come to Papa. Come to Papa, sand. Come to Papa. Do, 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 do. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, sand. Let's go. All the sand needs to jump straight into my inventory. I wish I wish there was an easier way to gather sand. Maybe like a maybe like a suction kind of deal where you, you just start sucking all the blocks into your inventory. That would be pretty cool. A suction gun. I don't know. Eh, just just an idea. Um, and then there is a piece of iron. If I have a pick, yeah, I have a pick. I may as well grab the iron. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. There we go. And we can go ahead and grab... Uh-oh. I don't want to grab that last one. Yeah, it's going to make the water fall in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, the water fell down. Oh, nobody likes water. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and put the sand back up there. And that will cut off the water flow. And now we just have a ton of dirt to fill in. So I'll do this right now, and then I'll cut back to you guys when I'm done. And there we go. So in order to make this look natural once again, I can probably spare a bit of sand. Put some more sand back where it belongs. And, uh, yeah. So that looks good. And then maybe a few more pieces right there. And now we can fill the rest in with, uh, some more of the dirt. And we did have plenty of dirt, so no worries there. I didn't even go through two of the stacks. So, oh, not there. Not there, dirt. Come on. Why does this dirt have to go places? I don't need it. Jeez. You're gonna make, you're gonna make me break my shovel again. Come on. Okay, so let's get the rest of the dirt down. And once that turns into grass, I think that'll look fine. Looks like I never even touched it. Perfect. So, there we go. The sand, the coast is back. But now I have a ton of sand to work with. Like, a ton. Oh, my goodness. Two almost full stacks. So, let's see. How long do I want this farm? I guess that's a good that's a good length. So, now what we can do is we can start uh, to get rid of some of these blocks that will be in the way of the farm. Um, which would be anything along this line, and then how many... Oh, one more over. Yeah, one more over. So anything along this line is going to have to go, because that will be in the way. Let's go ahead and grab all of this dirt, and then we can get the dirt out of the way, and then I can place the sand down, and well, actually we may as well leave that, because I'll just put a path there later. And then we can go ahead and get rid of all of this grass, and I think this is going to be a pretty cool-looking farm, and what it's going to allow me to do is, like I said, get a ton of bookshelves, which is going to be pretty exciting, because I think the bookshelves are going to look really, really nice in the in the Hobbit hole. I think it will look absolutely fabulous. So let's place down some more sand. We can put the uh, put the sugar cane on. Let's go right over here, and as you guys so most can see, we're done. Perfect. Now I just need a whole bunch of logs. So. Let's get it chopping. Let's get to chopping. Chop, chop, chop. Uh, I guess I'll just get all these trees. I'll just, I'll just get them all. And then after this episode, I'll go ahead and plant and bone meal some more trees. Why not? Because I love me some trees. I like the green look of Minecraft trees. And without them, it just doesn't look good. So I will plant these guys back. But for the convenience of you all, um, I'll just go ahead and chop them down for now. And then put them back after the episode. So you'll never see an ugly looking land without trees. So no worries. And is this... This is a tree. That's a weird looking tree. I don't know why the bushes are so far down. Or the leaves are so far down. The branches, leaves. That Wouldn't it be weird if Minecraft trees had branches? That would be funky. I'm not going to take that one down. He's a pretty big guy. <laughs> He's a pretty big guy. So we'll grab this one as well. And, uh, we should be good from there. That ought to be, that ought to be somewhat close to what we need, right? That's 23, no, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. We're going to need a bit more than that, I think. We'll see, though. We'll see. So let's get to placing. Let's get to placing, and I think, yeah, we're going to need a lot more. But we can always go somewhere else to grab the wood. So let's see, where could we go? Where could we go to grab, I think, just a few more pieces of wood... Although we are going to need to make a fence anyways, so we may as well just go on a on a wood spree. Where, where are some nice... Are those normal trees over there? They are. Okay, so that's a normal forest. Let's run over there, grab some wood, come back, and we can finish up the sugarcane farm. 
Once we do that, I think we will just about be done with this episode. And then the next time we farm, which will be in a few episodes, I don't want to do the same thing every single episode, so I'll mix it up. But the next time we farm, which should be sooner or later, we can make any of the farms here. We could make a potato farm, we could make a cocoa bean farm, or we could make a carrot farm, or we could make a melon farm. We haven't made any of those farms yet. So you guys can let me know in the comment section of this video what farm you'd like to see next. Uh, because we've gotten a sugarcane one, and we also have a wheat one. Two very, very basic farms. So it'd be interesting to try uh, some of the newer farms, uh, like the beetroot. We could also do beetroot, but I don't have any beetroots yet. So we'll have to try to find a dungeon or something like that in order to get a beetroot seed. But we'll see how that works out. Okay, so let's jump down this tree. Chop it down from the top, we'll get a ton of wood. I'll probably just stop when I get around a stack of wood. I think that's a good idea. Maybe more, I don't know, we'll find out. But for now, let's just go ahead and take it from the top. Literally, take it down from the top. That's the best way to mine trees. If you do that with jungle trees, it's very, very easy. It's very easy. The only hard part is just getting to the top of a jungle tree. <laughs> very difficult to do. Very, uh, very difficult. Easier said than done, for sure. That is one thing that is a lot easier said than done. Get to the top of a jungle tree. But once you do, it's very easy to mine it all down. Or chop it all down. Okay. Uh, are these just... Oh, you know what? Those trees are hugging each other. I'll let them live. You know, they, they've got a love. They've got a family. I'll just drop this one down. <laughs> Those trees have a family. I'll just, yeah, I'll just take down their brother or whatever over here. Oh, there's some rose bushes. Okay, that's cool. I could use those to decorate my house. I really haven't done any decoration yet, so a decoration in the... Oh, do I not get those? <gasps> I'm sorry. I, I probably should have used the shears. I'll come back with shears later. But for now, I think 39 is not enough. We'll probably have to grab some more. Let's grab some more. Oh, the sun's about to go down. Okay, so two more trees. Two more trees. And then we'll run back home, get some nice rest. Um, oh, come on. Maybe three, three more trees. Let's do three more trees. There we go. I just need to get a nice rest. And then we can uh, get back to working on the farm in the morning. And I think that'll be done. I think we'll be able to finish it all. By the time we get the water out there um, and we get the fences up, we should be able to plant at least a bit of the sugarcane we have. And then, of course, you know, waiting for the sugarcane to grow, that's another story. But we'll be able to finish the structure of the farm today, I hope. Um, I don't know if we're going to get back before the monsters start to spawn. Uh oh, I need to hurry, I need to hurry, I need to hurry, I really need to hurry. I think the monsters are going to start spawning any second. I'll hurry back home and I'll see you guys in the morning. Ah, uh, what a night. Okay, so I'm back here and I think all we need to do is just craft a little bit of stuff. So let's see, what could we craft today? Well, first we're going to need some sticks. Oh, well, planks probably. So we'll make the planks. Oh, don't want to use all the planks though because I want to keep the oak wood logs. But we should probably make some sticks now. And we can probably make some fences now. And then what else do we need? How many sticks do we have? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just leave it at that for now. So we do have plenty of trunks, logs, whatever you want to call them. No worries. Let's go ahead and swim through. Oh. I love I love myself to I love myself some swimming in the pond. It's a very nice pond, very calm. There's never never any action in here. I still need to try to catch a puffer fish. I'll do that sooner or later. But for now guess we can just uh, place down and I think that's all the sand okay so that's all we need the sand for now all I want to do is just finish up placing the oak wood I guess and then all we need is a little bit of water so I'll have to go back through the pond to get the water but first things first we could probably start placing the fences as well so let's go ahead and start a round trip with the fences I don't know if this farm is bigger than the last one I, I don't think it's as long but it's definitely wider so I'm not sure exactly what the per perimeter is but it's definitely it's definitely a pretty big farm so we will need to get at least uh, I don't know maybe like 20 more fences probably so I guess what the easiest way to do this is probably just craft them right here so let's make some planks and a crafting table and put the crafting table down so we have a few uh, okay, well, let's make a few planks here and we'll make a few more sticks and then that will give us the opportunity to make four more fences and then another fence some more planks more fences and that ought to be good 21 fences hopefully that's enough we do want to leave an entrance uh, entrance over here and I guess an entrance over there wouldn't hurt either, so I could probably I could probably do that. So we'll do that as well. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, so that's plenty. And then I guess I could take out this over here and put an entrance over here as well. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. So let's do that. Let's do that. And can I? Do I have enough? Okay, I need a few more sticks, I am assuming, and then a few more planks. And then that will allow me to make uh, one, two, three. Three fence uh, fence opening things. What are they? Fence gates. That's what they're called. Don't know why I couldn't think of the word, but there we go. So now you have a fence gate for this entryway and a fence gate for that entryway. And you may be wondering, well, why'd you make that other entryway? Well, because we still have to put one on this farm, right? So we'll put one on this farm, and I probably want to actually uh, do a little bit of landscaping here. So let me go ahead and grab some dirt. I want to do a little bit of landscaping. Um, just make it easier access. So we'll do that. And then that'll make it so that the farm is a little bit easier to access. And also this just kind of doesn't look like... Doesn't look natural. So what we'll do is we'll just put this like this. So once the grass grows over, it's going to look like a pretty awesome farm. You know, more awesome than it is already. So that will be the wheat farm. And then this one is the sugarcane farm. So I guess now what we need to do is just place some torches, which I do have. Awesome. And then we can go back to the uh, the treasure chests over there, the lovely treasure chests, and grab a bit of sugarcane, and then that'll be it. So I should probably place uh, torches on either side of that as well. Where'd that other one go? No. The chicken's trying to get into the sugarcane farm. Not so fast, little bugger. Not so fast. This gate is open, though, so if he came over here, he could have done it, too. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Perfect. And then I think all I gotta do is walk over, um... Yeah, walk over here. Grab the buckets. I think I had a few. If I remember correctly, I think I had a few different buckets in here. So we should be fine. Oh, come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. There we go. All right, so let's check. Nothing in there. Nothing. Oh, there's a bucket here, but I thought I had... There we go. I did. I did have a bucket. Perfect. So I'll go ahead and walk over there real quick and we can get the buckets down. All right. So I think I will be able to make an infinite water source if I do that, right? Awesome. I can. Okay. So now it's just about grabbing and placing, grabbing and placing, grabbing and placing. And is that it? That's good for that side. Let's just go ahead and grab. Uh, well, I may as well use both buckets now. So we'll do this again and then we'll place this here. And we can grab that and that, and then we can go scatter our water along the way. Perfect, perfect. And then I think we are just about done here almost. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so I guess we can start placing our, uh, placing our sugar cane. I think we only have three pieces right now, which is not a lot, but it's enough to get the farm started. So three pieces of sugar cane, you can't complain. You can... Can't complain, that's not too bad. And then I think, do I have bone meal? Can you bone meal sugar cane? You can, awesome. So I, I guess we could get a little Kickstarter to our farm here by bone mealing it a little bit. So let's see, how many sugar cane is that? Six sugar cane, not too bad. Where'd those other pieces go? I think I got them all. Okay, so let's, whoa, I'm glitching all over the place. All right, let's place the rest of these. Down until we have one, and then all we gotta do to bone meal them is just walk through and bone meal away. And there we go. So now we can break them all down. Sugar canes come to papa. This is awesome. So now we have a ton. They're multiplying so fast. We're at least gonna be able to plant um, at least half of this farm easily with the amount of bone meal we have. We should, we maybe even be able to fill up this whole farm. Maybe not. Maybe I'm being optimistic, but we'll find out. Okay, so let's take a look. Plantin' and plantin' and plantin' and bone mealin' and bone mealin' and bone mealin'. We have six, four, three, two, one. We'll leave this last bone meal for good luck. And then we'll take down all of these uh, sugar cane. And no, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be. Well, maybe it is actually. 25. Ah, it could be. Oh, don't want to miss that. Oh, come on. There we go. Don't want to miss it. Oh, geez, I'm missing it all over the place. What are we doing here? There we go. Oh, no, not you. Not you. Get out of there. Okay. There we go. There we go. 14, I think. I think we have enough, guys. I think we have enough. We do. The full sugarcane farm is done. Now, all I need to do is place a little bit of uh, a walkway there, which I can easily do with these planks. So I guess I'll use these planks. And then we can call it an episode. 
Uh, I think for the next farming episode, we may want to make a new farm, but we could also make a farm house to keep all of the stuff we get from the farms. So to keep the seeds in and the extra crops, extra materials, we could definitely use a farm house. So, I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. We also, we need animal farms. We need to keep animals as well. For now, we only have food, so we're definitely going to need to stock up on some uh, animals as well. But I think that is enough of Minecraft for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Looks like I need to go take a quick nap. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.